Right now, lanes have reopened on I-15 West in Taylorsville after the road buckled there. Fox 13 Scott McCain is live with how it happened and what crews did to fix it. Good morning, Scott. How's it looking out there? Good morning, guys, and uh, I actually drove uh, part of that section that had been closed a little earlier this morning, and uh, the lanes were open. Crews were still, though, putting some of the finishing touches uh, on what was really a very dangerous situation. They had actually shut down those lanes, as Danny mentioned, yesterday afternoon due to the extreme heat, and it's only going to get hotter today. But, uh, yeah, a very dicey situation, in particular right in the middle of the afternoon uh, rush hour commute. And when, you know, crews first arrived on scene, uh, the gap there, the uh, the buckling of the road, was about a half a foot, roughly six inches. But it kept getting worse, uh, eventually getting up to 10 inches. So they decided to break up the concrete to move it and repair that area. Repaving was expected to take two to four hours. As we've been sitting here, we've watched it rise, you know, a couple of inches over in the just in the last few hours. The panels, when they expand, when we have an extreme heat wave like this, they have nowhere to go but up. Once again, we're under an extreme heat watch today, and as our temperatures rise throughout the rest of this morning and into the afternoon, drivers are urged to watch out for this sort of thing in their commute. Basically, really keep uh, both hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road because you don't know potentially when something like this could happen. Just to drive very carefully, more carefully than normal, again, in the event that there is a situation like this happening again. For now, we're live in Taylorsville. Scott McCain, Fox 13 News, Utah.